May was very weak, kind of, I think people may be hoping, like December. January was a new month, a new year, and a new tone for the markets. It doesn't look like we're getting that right now. June is coming in the way May went out. Why? I think it goes back to Thursday, uh, the announcement from the administration that they're going to put a 5 percent escalating the 25 percent tariff on Mexico. That's a dangerous turn because now tariffs are being used for a political outcome, not just economic. And I understand the frustration on immigration. Certainly Congress has, you know, uh, failed the American people for the last 30, the last three decades. On, on immigration. They keep punting that to the next group of politicians who continue to fail. Nevertheless, it's fraught with peril because even if we get the desired un outcome and we can slow down the, the, the influx of illegal immigration into this country, we just shook hands on, on a trade deal with Mexico. And that's going to cause Mexican officials and even leaders around the world, can we really trust the United States when we shake hands on a deal? Now, now my Twitter followers are going to be mostly CNBC viewers, obviously. And I put out a little poll over the weekend saying, do you believe that the Trump threat for tariffs on Mexico is A, a head fake, B, the tariffs will come? 57% of the people who responded said they believed it was a head fake. In other words, a scary negotiating tactic to try to get Mexico... The market, obviously, then, therefore, believes that. But we could translate that in other ways. We could use the same tactic, say, with, with NATO allies regarding defense spending. Ratchet up your defense spending or we're going to put a tariff on, on, on your country. So for analysts and, and strategists and, and investors out there, we have new numbers, and we really don't know where the numbers go. So with China, we at least understand yep. the dynamic. I guess what I meant by bringing that up, David, was that you, you assume these are investors. They watch CNBC, obviously, the worldwide leader in business news. 57% believe it's some kind of a fake out. What if it's not? Then what happens to the markets? Well, what if the tariffs come? What if they go up in January or July and up again in August? Then we have to go through September? the same. We have to go through the same exercise that we went through last month. Last month we started off the month with uh, President Trump telling us that China is backtracking. So we had to go through our portfolios and find which is, has the most exposure. We came up with semiconductors, 20 to 40 percent. Now we have to do the same inspection with Mexico. So that brings up all the usual suspects: autos, auto parts, refrigerators, TVs, even food. Some companies like Cisco, SYY was hit hard on, 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 on Friday for, for the same reasons. So, look, it's an unsettling atmosphere, but ultimately, over time, supply chains move. Yeah. And, and maybe the long-term implications is we're going to disengage with China. Maybe that's the end game. Maybe that's the end game. Maybe even a better end game for us. But in the meantime, those supply chains take a long time to move. It yeah. doesn't happen. That has been so. Jim Cramer's view. I mean, sometimes you've got to take the pain to solve a bigger problem. I mean, we forget about that, that there are companies having their IP stolen nearly every single I'm day. And if we could end that, then maybe they open up their markets for real and you've got this huge market either way. Like trade wars, stock investing is easy. Yeah, right? but I, th I, th I think it's President... Just, wait, hold on. It's just earnings. How do you model future earnings? Very given, difficult. That's the problem. And, and equity markets are just valuations based on the future projection for cash flow and, and earnings. And in the end, it will follow earnings and cash flow. And that's been the, the tough part because the 12-month forward estimates... They're still holding up, but 2019, not so much because we had estimates come down every month since September. We kind of held up the market with, with a complete reversal by the Federal Reserve. That was a good move. Uh, CEOs kind of like set the bar a lot lower, so it's been a lot easier to step over that bar. But in the end, we'll follow those earnings streams, and we're, gonna have, we're going through a reset right Do now. Do markets go lower from here? That's a tough one. You've got the media out there calling this a black swan event. That's a big word. I don't think it is. Ultimately, stocks, economies, mm -hmm. and supply chains adjust. We'll get through this.